What's up? Today we're gonna do an upper body mobility routine with a lot of thoracic extensions in it, okay? First thing we're gonna do is going to be a thoracic extension. We're gonna do it on both sides. We're gonna try to keep a neutral hip when we're doing it. So I'm gonna sit on my butt against my heels. Elbows on the ground, push through with the bottom arm and pull the top arm up, follow my nose with my hand. Here, all the way up and extend. One. Then I can switch sides, drive your elbow into the floor. And that's the first exercise. We're gonna do about 10 per side, okay? Try to keep your hips on your feet so that way it stays neutral and we're not twisting our hips into the air, okay? For our second exercise, we're gonna do the cat camel or the cat cow, whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna push our spine up towards the ceiling and then dip it down towards the floor. I like to use my fists, but you can put your hands flat down. Push the spine up towards the ceiling, keeping the core tight, and then drop the spine down towards the floor, really extending it, okay? We go into our full rounded position, and then our full extended position. And that's really gonna open up the rhomboids when we push down or push our spine towards the ceiling. We really wanna open up our back so our rhomboids and our scapula separate from each other. That way it gets a good stretch. So the third exercise we're gonna do here is another thoracic extension using our hip. You probably know it as a scorpion tail. It also is a chest stretch, so it's part of the whole upper body stretch. Palms flat on the floor, so that way you can achieve the chest stretch. From there, it's an easy transition to spinal extensions. We are gonna get ourselves as arched as possible. Hands flat on the floor, hips flat on the floor, and thrust my head and back up towards the roof, locking out my elbows, but leaving my hips on the floor. I'm not coming up like a dolphin here. Just up, lock it out, back down. Extend, relax, extend, relax and just like the other exercise we're gonna do about 10 total if it's a split exercise where we're doing one side and the other it's 10 per side every time so this next exercise also done from the floor 10 per side is thread the needle you probably know it too well we're going to take our hand pass it underneath our torso and trying to let that rhomboid again open up on the bottom so I'm gonna come here make sure my core is tight Nice neutral spine as if I'm in a plank position and keep the palm up as we go thunder. And up to the top, follow up top. My nose follows my hand as I go up. And that's just a modified version of the first one that we did, except our hips aren't locked into our feet this time. Last exercise that we have is just shoulder rotations, but you're gonna make sure you go through the whole shoulder rotation, no cheating, no sidestepping. So I'm gonna roll my shoulders forward in one of the most uncomfortable positions I can be in, and then I'm gonna bring them up, all the way back, all the way back, and then I'm gonna anti-shrug my shoulder or reverse shrug as I go down and then roll them forward again. One, and every time I go forward, and there two, pull it together, push it down, and I'm gonna do 10 forward. And then when I'm done with those, I'm gonna do 10 in the opposite direction. Every time I pull it back, I open my chest as much as I can. Every time I push it forward, I open my back as much as I can. 10 reps to the front, 
10 reps to the rear, and now you're ready for your workout.